And now to the state of our schools with the state not offering any guidance. A Nassau district today is outlining its plan to keep students safe when they return this fall. News 12 Sherry Einhorn has those details. Soon to be high school freshman Didier Rios is enjoying summertime mask free, but with the rise in COVID cases and concern over virus variants, school in September could be a different story. Here in the Hempstead School District, when students come back to class in a couple of weeks, they will most likely have to wear a face covering and sit three feet apart. Superintendent Regina Armstrong told me today the district is leaning toward following the CDC guidelines for students and staff in K through 12 schools. Last week, school officials were stunned to learn that the state wasn't issuing any guidance on how to balance the classroom in COVID-19. Instead, the roughly 700 school districts in New York State now have to make decisions on their own. I know those there are some school districts that are strongly opposed to mask wearing on the inside. But for me, anything that we could do to make certain that our students and our staff are um, safe, that's what I'm willing to follow. Now, how do you feel about probably having to wear it again? Not happy? No. Other districts say they're waiting for guidance from county health officials. Guidance will be coming from Suffolk, but it's likely going to be pretty much what the CDC has already put out. NASA isn't issuing guidance, but will help districts. In the meantime, some parent groups say they're still pushing for the new school year to include parent choice. What we're hoping for is to have mask choice in the classroom. So the kids will again have that option of wearing a mask or not. Um, where we understand that they may need to still wear the masks in the hallways, on the buses, and we're okay with that. Time is ticking, though. Some districts start back in less than a month. I'm Shari Einhorn, News 12 Long Island. Well, the Chief Operating Officer of Eastern Suffolk BOCES tells us that districts are collaborating to share ideas and best practices. They're also working with the Countywide Superintendents Association.